All right, thank you so much, Brad. Now, a story that we're going to share with you now is one that started out full of hope. That's right. Recently, we were all set to cover a rather encouraging story of a newborn baby girl in the fight of her life. Every day she survived, she beat the odds. But on the day we went to speak with her parents, it was last Thursday, and then suddenly things took a turn for the worst. Just a few hours ago, baby Olivia was laid to rest. Her parents tell our Aaron Murray that they want you to know about the disease, the condition that called it, caused it all. It's called CDH. Inside the home of Alita Guzman and Melvin Padalina, it's clear they've just become parents. From the what to expect when you're expecting books to the tales of little Olivia Padalina's birth. I was pretending I was from any Pacquiao, just pretending I was ready for a boxing fight or something like that, but I was really excited. A proud dad, who sadly now knows the word fight, would define the life of his little girl. It's not something that you can really prepare for. Even before little Olivia was born, an ultrasound showed something was not quite right. That hole right there. Baby Olivia would be born with CDH, congenital diaphragmatic hernia. Basically, at eight weeks, they're supposed to develop their diaphragm, and hers didn't develop all the way. Olivia's lower organs were pushed up in her chest, but CDH didn't change Elita's due date. Olivia came just a little early, born May 26th. We heard her cry and everything. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, like it happened so quick. Once she came out, they just took her away. Immediately, Olivia was hooked up to machines, anything to help her survive. On June 10th, she went through surgery to put her organs back into place. See the scar? I'm awake. Some days were good. Moving my hands. Others were not. But the worst day came unexpectedly with a call from a nurse. She was like, Olivia had a big change of events and they're doing chest compressions on her right now. Olivia's heart rate dropped. It was the fight she could not win. She died and for the first time, her parents got to hold her. It was hard. But they handed her to me and it was just weird. I was hoping, you know, I've seen those videos before where like the babies die or they're dead and their moms holds them and they come back to life and I was hoping that would happen and it didn't. She lived just a month and a half. Now a week later, her family lays her to rest. Being in the short time that uh, she was here, I did learn a lot from her. I mean, from having patience to the first time holding her to, I mean, just fighting to keep going. A fight this young couple will continue. A fight to bring awareness to CDH. It was Aaron Murray reporting. Now, roughly every 10 minutes, a baby is born with CDH, which is why these parents want to bring more awareness to the deadly condition. The family has since set up a GoFundMe page to help raise money for the funeral costs, and they are urging everyone to make a donation to the Cherub Foundation. The Cherub Foundation helps fund research for CDH. To see these links, just head to our website. That's WOWT.com. We'll be right back.